Now, autism is a bio-neurological developmental ability or disability that presents itself with a spectrum of symptoms with varying severity. Many children with the condition are nonverbal, so communication with them can be difficult. And those on the spectrum who can speak often struggle to comprehend ordinary social cues that neurotypical do people do every day. To make people understand and accept people with autism, April 2nd has been earmarked internationally as the World Autism Day. Today we share with you a story of a mother who was nearly led to kill her autistic child with the belief that her daughter is a spiritual child. Here's Anna Savit with more. Hey, I 20-year-old Beatrice, also known as Mami B, is an autistic child, currently in primary five. Just like any other child with autism spectrum disorders, Beatrice, since childhood, has been having difficulty with social interactions with others unusual interest in objects, under or over reaction to one or more of the five senses amongst others. Her mother, Mame Abna Mensa, shares with me some horrifying experiences she went through raising her fifth child. <laughs> I was told I gave birth to a spiritual child. In fact, I went through a lot. My neighbors insulted me and accused me of being paid back for my bad deeds. Sometimes I question God for giving me this child. But I know this is a test from God. In her quest to find the right medication for Mami B's ailment, Abna Mansa met a man who promised to help her kill her own child with the belief that the child is a curse to the family. One man visited me and promised to help me. He said he would take me to a man who will help me. He will make me buy some items which would be mixed with some concoctions and be given it to the child. He will sleep for a while and die in the process. Abna Mansa, a mother of five, lost her husband seven months ago. She's afraid that in her absence, her autistic child may have a gloomy future. As a result, she's currently poised to give her daughter some formal education. She tells me that parents of children with autism pass through a lot of trauma and deserve to be supported. Her father died seven months ago. I may follow him soon. So I want authorities to support these children and their parents. In Ghana, for instance, autism is often compounded by cultural stigma. The causes, in many cases, attributed to the supernatural, and these attitudes prevent early diagnosis since help is often sought out from traditional or religious leaders rather than from a medical practitioner. Dr. Jacqueline Nasibi, a senior specialist pediatrician at the Tichiman Holy Family Hospital, shares with me some of the characteristics of autistic children. 
autism or autism spectrum disorder that's his other name yes it's a group of condition that is um, characterized by certain challenges and um, some of the challenges the children face are in, in respect to social skills they have repetitive behaviors that they go through and then they have problem with speech and nonverbal communication at least around one year if you call every child is respond but this child you see that persistently you call the name he doesn't respond and then they don't they prefer not to be cuddled they don't follow normal instructions and then they do not look at somebody when you point to them autistic children will never point if even you point to they will never tend to look at their management according to dr jacqueline is difficult because they are special children who need special assistance because some of them are hyperactive and then the things i mentioned they look odd other than the normal child i think most of uh, of, of people shun away from them or they tease them or they think that they are not normal children so the parents go through a lot it's very difficult and then with the hyperactivity it's so difficult to manage them with that so the parents go through a lot and then even the way others look at them or treat them it makes it very 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 difficult for the children as the world celebrates children with autism spectrum disorders today Dr. Jacqueline calls on all to end stigma and discrimination against autistic children and asks that more attention needs to be given to these children and their parents. They go through some stigma, so that's why educating um, the public is so important. That they are just special children, they need special attention, and we shouldn't um, treat them differently. So I just want to encourage all mothers with autistic children, the myths and then the different treatment from the society they shouldn't be bothered at all so rather encourage them to work hard because the good thing is most autistic children their symptoms get better with treatment with supportive care behavioral te therapy psychological support they get better to the public these are children we should give them special care we shouldn't shun them or treat them differently or call them names we should rather be supportive to their family so that with community support is also very, very important in the care. We can all um, help our autistic children with all the social challenges to also fit into our society. For Mami Abna Mensa, having an autistic child is a gift and parents need to be supportive to these children. So, Remember, autistic children are human like any other, and it's about time we extend special support to them. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Tichiman. A speech and language therapist at the Multi Kids Inclusive Academy, Aisha Ahini Amate, joins us on Zoom with more. Um, hi, Aisha. Now, I think that one of the key things that one of the key challenges has to do with stigma and the wrong perception about autism. Um, what are some of the interesting myths you've heard about this disease? Yes. Good afternoon, everyone. The myth about autism has been very interesting. We've heard a couple of people saying um, the causes are coming from mothers because there were certain things they were not supposed to do when they were pregnant, and including maybe medication, including not talking to um, a deaf person, and on and on and on. Um, some of these speculations has also been that um, Parents have not been heeding to older people's advice, and those are one of the reasons why children are born with autism. Mm. Right, but what is the real cause of the disease, though? For now, we don't have any specific cause for autism, but research has shown that um, it's a combination of social, um, our environment, and then our neurological un underlinings. 
So um, it's it's been tailored towards a particular game, which even hasn't been confirmed yet. And in terms of our social relations, they are even saying that um, mother's age and child um, birth weight and um, child um, term of delivery. But if we cross-check data, we have the same issues occurring by children and not um, kids with autism. So this hasn't really been a confirmed um, cause of autism. So we are saying that the cause of autism is still a mystery. Now, um, tell us, uh, when people give birth to autistic children, there is a usually a mindset that that's it for the child. The child cannot make any meaningful contribution to society growing up. Is that the case? That is not the case. Um, autism and intelligence are on a different level. So a child having autism doesn't determine a child's level of intelligence. In that, a child can have autism and that child will be very, very intelligent. So they are very, they are very much able to acquire their um, highest potential if we give them the needed support. In that, if you put the child in an inclusive environment, the child is able to try very well with the needed support. That is speech therapy, occupational therapy, um, applied behavioral therapy, on and on. And for for the beginning stages, these children will need our support to be able to achieve their potential. So. Autism and intelligence and what your outcome will be in future really doesn't correlate. Do we have enough facilities and resources in Ghana to properly give children the nurturing environment they need to come out to be the best they can be, like you say? For now, we have some, but not so much. Um, I could name hospitals which are um, very, very vibrant in determining autism from the very beginning because early intervention and early detection and intervention is the key. So we have hospitals that are into diagnosis and intervention, and we have the, um, the therapists who are also supporting as well. But um, even with training of um, personnel has been difficult because in a way students have to find most of the things and resources have also been difficult to get because um, initial stages, there hasn't been so much support when it comes to um, when it comes to support for special needs and special education, as we've always been um, um, advocating for. So we we have few, but it is not adequate because for now the number of speech and language therapists that we have in Ghana is not even more than forty, and we, you can imagine the population of about thirty million. And even on my caseload, I could tell you that it, out of 10 people, there. you can have eight children being um, autistic. Aisha Ahini, thank you very much for joining us this morning.